Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Today, even though I haven't been happy with my footage lately, I decided to go ahead and film some of my training for you guys. And as a lot of you know, I train full body six to seven days a week. And this gives you an idea of just what an average day looks like for me in the gym. Okay, up first is a closed grip bench press. You'll notice that my setup is the same as my normal bench press. I get an arch, I use a leg drive and everything. And you want to do that. You want your technique, and even in your warm-up sets, it needs to replicate what your heavy sets are going to look like so that you're training those motor patterns. And I selected the closed grip bench press because my chest is a little fatigued still. I did three sets of heavy bench yesterday, and I generally do one to three work sets of any given lift in a session because I train everything literally every day. So I don't go over one to three work sets. I got six reps with this today. I'm trying to stay most days between eight and nine on the RPE scale, and I do not hit a 10 more than once a week because I don't want a true max even on rep work more than about once a week on a given lift. So usually I go about eight to nine. As soon as one of the reps gets heavy or it slows down a bit, that's when I stop. And you'll notice my six rep on this felt heavy, so I quit. All right, a lot of people are asking me what I mean by dynamic stretching, and if I give some examples, and this is an example of one of the dynamic stretches I did, I thought I would film it. I also like this footage today because it gives a better indication of my overall size, and of my when I'm videoing at home, I look a lot smaller than I really look in person. And these videos today do a good job of showing what I actually look like. All right, here are my squats, and I squat at least five days a week. I am doing beltless squats lately, and the reason for that is because I want to bring up my beltless squats, bring up my core, and then I will throw a belt back on when I start peaking for a meet. And this is just a warm-up set. You'll notice I'm very explosive. I use a myotatic reflex at the bottom, even on these warm-up sets. And even though it may look to some people who don't know what they're looking at, like I'm not going as deep as they think, if you look at the crease in my hip, I'm actually at least two inches below parallel. This will, These are all easily meet legal reps. I would never get red lighted at any meet for my depth on any of these lifts today. All right, my heavy set today was with 190, which is about 420 pounds for triple. No, this is not the most I can do beltless. I've done more than this even in the last week. But to get an idea, I get out of a belt, I get about 20 kilos out of a belt and another 10 out of brat. So by comparison, had I had all of it on, I could probably triple 220. And ideally, I'm not looking to hit more than 230 to 240 raw in the 90 kilo uh, coming up with my first meet this year. So I'm right on track. This is not a problem. I'm going to keep gaining strength from here, and I'm hoping to get to where I can triple 220 without a belt before we time. All right, I don't actually deadlift every day. I don't deadlift more than two to three times a week at the most, and even then only heavy once. And tomorrow I want to deadlift heavy. So today, for an accessory, I did deficit stiff leg deadlifts. These are just warm-ups, and I do these with a rounded back. And the idea is that I use this to build up my thoracic erectors and to build up a lot of potential weak links in my deadlift and my squat. So that's the reason I do this. And yes, it looks dangerous, but this is very lightweight for me for a deadlift. So it's not as dangerous as it looks. And I'm just building up these muscles so that they're not a weak link for me. And then my heavy set is coming up. And then you can see my calves again in this one. Showing off my calves and hamstrings a piece. But I just do 180, which is four plates aside for a triple here. And then coming up after this, I show you guys a failed set of weighted chin-ups. I guess my back was fatigued and it was cramping on these. Normally, I would have tried to do at least three reps. But you'll notice this second rep, I don't even come all the way down because my back started cramping. And then when I got to the bottom on the third one, I couldn't do it. But I threw it in just to show you guys that you can fail when you're doing full body like this. Sometimes you will fatigue muscles and you won't always be able to perform optimally on the next exercise. But you can't guarantee that that's going to happen. Some days you will be able to come in and set a PR even with fatigued muscles from the previous lift. And then here I'm doing behind the neck presses and 
do not do these the way I'm doing them with full range of motion all the way to your traps unless you have very, very good shoulder mobility. And with these, I was happy with this considering I had done close grip already. I got six reps with this. On a good day, if I haven't done a lot of heavy pressing first, I can get at least eight reps with this weight and touch the traps on every rep, but six was good considering I had already done heavy close grip bench pressing, so I was happy with that. And then coming up next, I'm going to do some skull crushers. This first one is a warm-up, and this is an example of when I've tried to talk to you guys in the past about using some shoulder extension in any tricep movement to recruit the long head, and this is how you get all three heads of the tricep. And this gives you guys a good side view, because I've done these from the other angle before in another video, but it gives you a good idea. And this is really heavy for me. This is by no means a PR. I've done this for more reps than this, but this is generally as heavy as I go with a full big plate per side. So for Americans, this is the equivalent of throwing like 135 on the ball. And I managed to get five reps. I can get six on a really good day, but the five felt heavy enough, so I stopped there. And I try to do some type of ab work every day. Some days it's just weighted crunches like this. Other days I'll do planks or weighted planks or I'll use my bands on the top of my power rack and use those to do crunches. I just vary it up day to day. But the main thing is, is that I want to work my core every single day. All right, guys. So I hope this has been informative. I hope it gives you guys an idea of what an average day looks like for me in the gym. And if people have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And I might try to answer some of those questions in videos over the coming week. If people don't understand what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, if they're confused at all. And you guys need to remember, I'm not a bodybuilder. I am training for powerlifting, and I want to go to the Nationals next year. So my goals are powerlifting related to my training. So this type of training is to make you bigger and stronger. It's not necessarily to make you look like a fitness model. And I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you've enjoyed this.